So back in, a couple of weeks ago, we we made a book that we used, a, te a science textbook, um, and we copied it. I, I stepped them through how to draw the animal cell in all of its parts, uh, and then I had them eventually, we did the, the labeling as well. So that was step one. And so then I, I, I brought it, this drawing back up again, have them look, look at it in their, in their uh, journals. Uh, for example, here was one, came out pretty good, if you can see that. Um, and then we went on to describing, defining and describing all of the, uh, the cell parts. I'm using Doceri to, we start off here, then I'm going to the computer, and I have this really cool video of uh, uh, cell structure. Um, and so I'm using that as kind of a guide to tell us well, what the parts are. So I'm going to play it just a little bit. All cells have a The coolest thing is that I can just sit here and write out notes and, and also see all the kids and um, do and have the video playing in the background behind me while I while I see what they're doing and see what I'm doing. Um, so a cell I just play this, which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. So three parts that the all cell has, which is cell membrane, -like fluid, cytoplasm, and DNA, and DNA, which is the cell's genetic material. So I stop it, pause it, then I resume back there. I don't want to show this anymore. I'm going to go back to, I want to make some notes. So I go to my notes file and there it is. I'm, I'm writing out notes um, and if I'm doing it in another class where I'm not writing out notes um, I'm just playing it out one little bit at a time so they don't get overwhelmed um, so I just play it until they can catch up um, I guess I could uh, export it and have them do it uh, on, post this on the Google Classroom and then have them copy from there. But the good thing is I can, if I do it whole group, then I can read it out and so there's no question about reading. Uh, and then I can check in with them later and make sure they got it. Uh, actually, I only have a small class so I can check in with them as we go. Um, so we let the play, this play out, and then there's more notes, and we went through, and so we ended up with the kids getting a big bunch of notes like this, um, and then we went, I would keep getting, going back, toggling back and forth between the video. There are two broad and categories the of cells. We focused on for this time. That have unique jobs to perform. Let's start with the nucleus, the control center of the cell. Yeah, so we started with the nucleus. We the nucleus in, contains DNA, or gen Went into what the nucleus does, and then once we went through all that, got all the notes, so I was just kind of toggling back and forth. Uh, we got eukaryotic cell, then we got uh, prokaryote, organelle, and then finally nucleus. And then we, after we got to the nucleus on the notes, we went and built, actually built, the uh, nucleus structure. Um, so we got the nucleus and the nu nucleolus here, um, and then we'll, later on we'll paint it and uh, and then label it. But uh, so we're again we're trying to go back to mirror this drawing that they did before. And you see how easy it was to me to go from image to image, and this is playing up there on the screen, of course. And I never had to leave, go up to the computer. And so I can just go back to the video, which is on YouTube. DNA dictates what. Or I can go back to the notes that we were we were working on, which are right here. It's easy.